Bearden. He's an artist that does a lot of different collage work in his projects. So we took a look at together at the piano lesson and you guys answered some questions, but I also wanted to show you other pieces of his artwork too. So you could see a little bit more about his type of collage work. He was uh, lived in New York as an adult and he participated a lot with his family in the great migration of Amer African Americans to the North and West. He was obviously influenced by African and Asian art as well as some other artists. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and get started on our co own collage work too. So on your piece of paper on the back side, could you please write your name and class code? Then I started thinking about, well, I asked you some questions on a piece of paper, like what's your favorite kind of music, favorite instrument, and what activities do you like to do? And for me, I really do. My favorite kind of music at all is Christmas music. And so I kind of wanted to create a winter or a cold kind of scene. And so I chose some cold colors to paint for my landscape. You do not have to do that. You do not have to make your sky blue. In fact, I encourage you to start thinking about maybe what kind of painting you want to create. It could use warm colors instead of cold colors. Maybe you want to have a fall type picture where the sun is setting, the leaves are turning crisper, and you want to have more of warm or neutral colors into your painting. So I've just created mine to look like winter. So I started using some cool colors and I started thinking about perhaps some snow um, on the ground and I just started thinking about my landscape, drawing that out and quickly painting. Go ahead and set this on the drying rack now that it can start to dry. And now as it's drying, I'm gonna start looking for some images that I think would be good to use. Wash out your brush really well. And to clean it, take a towel and get the paint off in the towel. Wash it in your water, take a towel, and really get that brush clean so that there's no other paint that you see. When you put your paintbrush away, the bottom handle goes into the cup and then let the bristles dry. I went ahead and I found some images that I wanted to use into my collage work. As you can see, they're winter bird pictures, lots of winter images that you could see. And when I started cutting around my image, I really wanted to do a good job of getting rid of the background space. Really take some craftsmanship when you start to cut out your images. You know, as I got started um, cutting it out, it was a lot easier for me to take the picture and cut it down so it was easier to maneuver the scissors around the image that I wanted to keep. And so I encourage you to do that as well. Find your images that you want to use for your project, and then you can start to think about how you want to arrange them. It can be realistic, like my, the person looks further away because that bird is so large, and, or it could be uh, smaller. It could look like it's um, going back into the distance, but it doesn't have to. It's kind of up to you. I also am just cutting out some uh, black and white photographs of, of things that I found that I wanted to imitate that whole Christmas and music and theme of um, creating my own type of interest that I'm interested in. Um, like Bearden, he did a lot of uh, Amer African American type artwork in his collages. Well, in this collage, I wanted to create things that I'm interested in, things and hobbies, activities that I like to do. I still wanted to have that musical feel to let people know that I kind of have a Bearden type of, um, you know, like music is influencing this, like Christmas music is my favorite. So that's kind of why I drew the musical notes. The snowflakes might remind you of winter. And then I just started adding on some other details that I wanted to do to make my collage complete. I also thought it might be helpful if I show you some other student examples of collages of things that they've created. Remember, you can make this any way that you want to, whether it's just about music or items and things that you are interested in. I hope you have fun making your own Beard and Collage.